when you look at the graphs that describe loss of muscle in the elderly, um, everybody's familiar with what these graphs look like, which is they start out here and they drop down here. And for those listening to me, it's kind of like a, a smooth curve that drops like a stone. You know, usually once people are in the eighth decade of life in their mid seventies. And he made such a fantastic point, which is if you look at this at the population level, which is always how the data are presented, it appears to be a physiologic phenomenon. What, is it, what does he mean by that? A physiologic phenomenon is an inevitability, right? It's just, it's physiologic, right? You're going to lose muscle as you age, and it occurs on this nice, beautiful, smooth curve. And he said, but if you actually look at it at the individual level, that's not at all what it looks like. It's actually a graded step function. So again, if you're watching me, this is easier to see. It's, you know, here's your muscle mass, and then boom, a big drop. And then you stay there for a little while, and then boom, a big drop. And away you go, and away you go. And he said what it really comes down to at the individual level is a series of discrete periods of inactivity that result in sudden, relatively speaking, meaning over a period of months or weeks, big drops in muscle mass that are never recovered. And I'll tell you, you know, it's been a while since that episode. I think about that every minute of every day. And I'm only in my 50s. And I keep thinking, what do I need to do to make sure I don't experience one of these two week or two month episodes that's going to result in an irreversible loss of muscle mass. And again, it really comes down to how do you not get injured? And even if you don't have an injury, how do you make sure you're staying active?